what's up guys? This is Corey Gregory, co-founder of Muscle Farm. Today I'm gonna take you through a shoulder workout with what I call my German volumized training with a twist. We're gonna do 10 sets of 10 with only 10 seconds rest. We're gonna hit standing military, a lateral fly, a rear delt fly, and a face pull. We're gonna burn them up, so check it out. The normal German volumized training workout just says you would be doing a max weight for 10 reps, take um, maybe a minute break, minute and a half break for 10 sets. Where I came up with the idea that when I was getting ready for a show or a shoot, that if I cut the rest period way down, that it would tax the muscle a lot faster, but also um, the, the period of time that you're working out is pretty short. Really, that workout doesn't take that long. I mean, you're looking at a 20 minute workout. So you guys that are like rushed and like, should I work out, should I not? Well, you should and you should do this one. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the standing military press. Take about a medium uh, grip, 10 sets of 10 with 10 seconds rest. Let's get it done. So usually what I do is start the clock just so I can look down whenever I need to check my time. What's cool about this program is I was rushed one day at the gym and instead of doing the normal German volumized training, which is 10 sets of 10 heavy, I cut it down to 10 second rest periods. And man, it gave me a serious burn, so I came up with a whole program around it. What is amazing about this workout is that you don't have to use very heavy weight. Yeah, the best way to pick the weight is, for instance, I would do 135 for 10 reps. I'll do 65 pounds for my workout today. I would say it's somewhere between 30, 50% of what you normally would do for a set of 10. The regular German volumized training, I would, I would recommend to, yeah, intermediate to advanced. The one that I put together with a twist, as I call it, to anybody. Because realistically, you could be a brand new person that has five pound dumbbells doing lateral raises and just wants to get a quick workout. So it, it could be for anybody. Sorry for fatiguing about set seven. You feel it quick though. A lot of the training that I put together is a lot of different methods. I like to mix them all together. So I don't like to really stay with one too long. So I believe that two weeks of this, or you can also utilize it at the end of a normal workout. This will humble, humble you real quick. Let's say you're just doing like an Arnold style shoulder workout, you could finish with the German volumized training with a twist on your lateral raises at the end just for a burner. So it's a good thing to just kind of keep around the gym. Heart rate's definitely kicking up. That's what's fun about these workouts. It keeps it different and it gets you quick. Amazing 65 pounds start to fill it heavy. For all you guys that think you probably be doing 135. I'm telling you. Usually when we start to fail, kind of rest pause it at the bottom, and then I kind of make up for it for extending and hold it for a second. Amazing how fast 10 seconds goes, I tell you. You can feel all, all the connective tissue burning. Woo. Now we got three minutes, rest till the next exercise, hit the lateral raise. And they're really gonna be burning that. Woo. So basically now my three minutes are up, which is about as long as it takes from walk from one side of the gym to the other. Now we're gonna do lateral raises to the side, 10 sets of 10, 10 seconds rest. It only use 20 pounds, it burns like hell. You can absolutely do it on any body part. I think that it probably makes more sense to keep it around for your smaller muscle groups. It's definitely taxing to do it on the bigger muscle groups, but other than that, you'd want to do your other core lifts on whatever rep range that you're into and then kind of follow this at the end, whether it's on flies or, or whatever you're doing that day. Most people, you know, do three, five sets, 10 laterals anyway, and it burns like crazy, but when you cut those rest periods down, which that 10 seconds goes extremely fast, especially when you're on your second exercise and it's laterals, it, it burns big time. Ten seconds go fast, boy. Two more. Start putting a little bit of 
a little more traps into it if you got to. Uh, one more. On fire. Ten. Ten sets, baby. All right, now we're gonna hit uh, a rear delt fly um, on the incline, laying face down. Just gonna set it up 10 sets 10, just like we've been doing. Let's get after it. I use around 12 pounds on uh, rear delt flies. I'll probably have to drop to 10 or maybe even eights. It just depends on how smoked your shoulders are. There's no ego in this plan. <laughs> even if you do lift heavy, this is something to throw at the end of your workout that helps condition your connective tissue. Sit up, watch 10 seconds. You want to be acting like you're, uh, you got a pencil between your shoulder blades, you're trying to squeeze on each rep to really get the same feel. If you're a big time power lifter, bench and heavy weight, you still need to have strong connective tissue and this is the type of workout that can help with the tendons and things like that too. So yeah, you don't really want to be concerned with what's on the bar, it's just if you're getting the right feel and you're getting the set five, six, seven and it's burning like crazy, then, then you're right there where you need to be. Man, it's already whooped my butt, I gotta get tense. You know, a lot of people train a lot of stuff heavy in the front of their shoulders or the top of their shoulders, so I want to go, the last two exercises is mostly on the back. And a lot of people uh, have problems with is that where they're overdeveloped and they're, they're actually rotated this way and they call it bench or shoulder and they have tendonitis. So, you know, I really try to focus on doing more rear delt um, so it looks good and more aesthetically pleasing too if I'm on stage or whatever. Every exercise you go to, it seems like sooner and sooner it starts burning like hell. I'm only on step four and I'm already smoked. Two more. When they don't move anymore, you gotta rest pause them. One more. Amazing how hard 10 pounds feels. Burn, baby. Oh, cooked. Put some serious striations in these muscles. One more, baby, one more to go. Lastly, we're gonna do what's called a face pull. Face pull is traditionally a powerlifting exercise. I learned this whenever I was at Westside Barbell when I was doing my couple years of powerlifting, but I kept on to this exercise. It's awesome for your rear delts. So what you want to do is set it up to where you're taking this metal part right to your nose. So when I showed the face pull, I think that'll be something new that maybe a lot of bodybuilders or people have never even really even seen before, but really goes well towards the end of the workout. There's uh, not a lot that's really directly hitting that, so it's pretty refreshing at the end. You can really get into it and get a good pump. seconds you know like I said it was a, it's a little refreshing because you really hadn't touched that exact part in the whole workout so you can it almost feels kind of invigorating because you're hitting something that doesn't have a whole bunch of blood in it and I think it rounds out the back of your delts real well so you want to keep your elbows high and up and so if you do that it hits your rear delts your upper traps and it just uh, it isolates it really well so I think it'll be a, a well-liked exercise from the workout Uh, uh, 10 seconds goes fast. Uh, 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 two more. Almost there. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Smoked them. Cut! <laughs> That's our German volumized training with a twist for today. We hit the shoulders. If you want to know more about the other exercises that you can do for other body parts, just check out the content below. If you want to ask me any questions, go to Body Space, Muscle Farm Prez, P-R-E-S, or on my Twitter, and uh, check out bodybuilding.com. <laughs>